Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with, I don't think I've done any of these yet, 2020 Panini Mosaic Football 4-Box Cello Pack Edition. Pick your team number two. These must have just come out recently. No veteran common ship in this. And then uh, the usual Bengals, we got a Bengals giveaway. And so the usual two teams, one, uh, one entry, four teams, two entries for the Bengals. Big thanks to all of these lovely people for getting into the action. We got another set of four boxes in the store right now. We can run that back tonight. I think it's already, I just posted it like 10 minutes ago. I think it's already down to like 20 teams left. We can do that tonight. All right, so big thanks to all of these wonderful people here. Nick Stober got triple last spot mojo. So now let's sort by column A. Two teams, one entry, Carlos right here. Dan, you got two teams. That's one entry. Daniel Barnes, four teams, two entries. Joe Haynes, six teams. That's three entries. Josh Lucas, two teams, an entry. Matt J, two teams, an entry. Matt S, two teams, one entry. Michael Galushi, two teams, one entry. Nick Stober, you got three teams, but for the purposes of the Bengals giveaway, two count. That's still an entry, though. Oliver with two teams. That's one entry. And Sean Maddock got four teams. That is two entries right there for a total of 15 spots. So let's copy those names, put them into this blank list. Let's roll it and randomize it seven times. Lucky seven, name on top after seven, gets the Bengals in these four boxes right there good luck one two three four five six and seventh and final time after seven ollie oliver soria after seven times boom the bangles going to you so there you have it let's sort these back by team and let's print and rip. Good luck, Ollie. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for getting in. So here's the final printout right here, hot off the presses. There it is. Thanks everyone for getting in, really appreciate it. All right, there should be an exclusive pack on the bottom right there. So let's just separate them out like that. So the, the bonus pack, yeah, are the pink camo parallels, which I think are pretty cool. So li like with most retail product, uh, the expectations for an auto should not be very high. Not a lot of autos in this, especially not a lot of rookie autos in this. So the chase is really just uh, the parallels. Top rookies, rookie silvers, some rookie base, but mostly rookie parallels. And um, yeah, that's, that's really what we're looking for. And maybe some of the big name rookies in those pink camos as well. And that's the key. open nice and smooth.
We were working out our, yeah, sweating out the break and the game, Ollie. You're stuck with me now for the next 45 minutes to an hour. Um, we got some football happening, folks. Again, NFL tomorrow. We got Tampa Bay at Chicago. Who does everyone have in that game? I thought the Bears with Nick Foles were going to look pretty different, but no, they did not look that great last week. The Bucks are on a short week. Ooh, Aaron Rodgers, Genesis. Nice start for the Packers, Matthew Shearer. Very short printed Aaron Rodgers. Duck Hunter says Bucks. There's Mahomes MVP's green. So like vet, this is not a vet common. Obviously, it's just a JJ Watt green. So those, of course, will ship. The these few cards aren't going to ship. Just keep that in mind. The inserts will ship like that. And Brady Bucks edition, of course, will ship. Nick Stober thinking bear. I'm kind of leaning bears as well. Jordan Love, green for the Packers. So you got the the, the wily old veteran, Aaron Rodgers and Jordan Love Green, the future. And here's the future of Cincinnati right here. The Bengals, Joe Burrow, NFL debut. Bach. like a stop to me but all right chase young mosaic pattern for josh lucas and the washington football team there's Le'Veon bell and a rookie here i was saying don't expect rookie autographs to pop out of here i've been i've been made the fool by mosaic cello pack there's darrington evans rookie autograph for joe haynes and the titans what a catch Cody Bellinger, did you just rob that home run? Greater all, Bruce Stars got his hat off. He's screaming. Woo! I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. That was amazing. Bellinger's fired up. He goes up over the wall, and that would have been a home run. Tua, base. Yeah, someone called the cops. Satis Jr. just got robbed. Robbed. And a silver Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Hilaire NFL debut. Nice. Yeah, there was an NFL debut, Joe Burrow. And I know the inserts don't sell as well, but there you go, Oliver. No parallel. Maybe we still got a lot of boxes to go here in Pick Your Team 2. Pick Your Team 3 is in the store, folks. If you want to run this back, we can. We can do it tonight. All right, here are your pink camos right here. And these are all inserts, so all, all, all of these all of these pink ones will, will go. Oh, 
these packs open up terribly. Ooh, jamming me up. Yeah, the, the bonus packs? The bonus pack, well, the, the regular pack quality is smooth. The bonus packs, not smooth. Yeah, wow. Oh. All right, so all of these will ship. So we got some we got some rookies here that we gotta take care of. Pink Camo, James Morgan, Jeff Okuda for the Lions. Keyshawn Vaughn for the Buccaneers. JK Dobbins for the Ravens. AJ Terrell, Falcons, Cam Akers, NFL debut, Chase Young, Darrington Evans, Patrick Mahomes. Obviously everyone loves the Patty Mahomes. Patrick, as his mom says. His mom told the one of the Monday night announcers, it's Patrick, not Pat. All right, that, that Mahomes, by the way, goes to Carlos. Next box. Bottom of the seventh for my Dodgers. There, thanks to the Cody Bellinger amazingness, Dodgers still lead by a slim run, four to three. Our grader all throwing his hat. He's fired up. Oh, Dodgers got the top of the order up. Mookie bets. There's a man on already. No outs. Add some runs, Dodgers. Ooh. Manny Machado dropping a lot of F-bombs here. I'm going to be waiting for you, Manny Machado says. Max Muncy chirping back. A lot of F-words there. That's not family friendly. Oh. Oh. Mookie Betts waving him back to the dugout. And Bruce R. Grayer all blew, blew a kiss to Manny Machado. Tatis Jr. throwing the helmet. He's not happy. Hmm. People are getting fired up here. It's like the end of the Rams-Giants game. You guys see that? A little scuffle there too. Maybe some baby mama drama from what I heard. It could be a good John Boy media breakdown of this little scuffle here. Ooh, that's they turn it. That's a good double play. No safe. Fly through these. Or 
Corey Seager, two for three, double run, two RBIs. Let's go. NFL debut, Silver, A.J. Dillon. Packers, that'll be for Matthew Shira. Here's my guy, Henry Ruggs the third NFL debut, Mosaic. That'll be for the Raiders. Matthew Shearer has my Raiders as well. There's our first Justin Herbert base. Base bolt. That's going to go to Sean Maddock and the Chargers. Obviously, the Marquise Brown Silver will ship. DeAndre Swift, Rookie Green, and Justin Herbert, NFL debut. Sean Maddock, Chargers. DeAndre Swift, Green, that's going to go to Nick Stober and the Lions. And a Michael Vick Genesis. Wow. That looks cool. Nice single by Seeger. There you go. And that is Falcons edition. Joe Haynes with the Dirty Birds. Love the Genesis look. Genesis is great. Yeah, two Genesis. Genesis? Genesises? Chase Claypool Green. Save a Brady, too, for the Bucks, Dan Tursky. I'm pretty sure base Brady's and base Mahomes generally are included when, when the sorters are taking care of things. Adam Wolf, hopefully Ruggs can stay healthy for longer than a couple of games. Yeah, that... Oh. Got to do the bonus pack. Yeah, that's that's the that's the the rub, the bugaboo, the knock, the issue, the problem with Henry Ruggs. Some some injuries. Brian Edwards too. I didn't, I didn't think he would. But someone said that there there might have been some injury issues. I mean, everyone has injury injuries, right? It's hard to go through four three or four years of college and not get banged up but but yeah would like to see Henry Ruggs back on the field I mean maybe fantasy wise Ruggs and Brian Edwards aren't making a lot of a lot of noise fantasy wise but reality wise it helps the Raiders a lot Ruggs stretches out the field and Brian Edwards can make key receptions just because of his size you know and that opens up the windows for for Darren Waller and Josh Jacobs and and Hunter Renfro to do work. So they're just enough of a distraction, you know, to to keep defenses honest. So yeah, I'd I'd like to see them see them see them get healthy and, and contribute again. NFL debut Tua Pink Camo. And an A.J. Dillon. Cam Akers goes to the Rams. That'll also be for Nick Stober. And there's the Tua. That's Sean Maddock with the Dolphins. NFL debut pink camo. Exactly, yeah. The last two games, they just looked off without those two guys. Because everyone would be like, well, we can just stuff the box on running downs and double-team Darren Waller, and that's it. And then let Zay Jones and Nelson Aguilar... And and Hunter Renfro beat you. Hunter Renfro is an excellent like wide receiver three or four, but at a at a one or at a at a two, I don't know, at, or a three behind Aguilar, Zay Jones. I mean, 
Those are all just three number three receivers running around out there. So yeah, and and you know Raiders defense is awful. So so if if the offense goes off the field too quickly, then that's just more mistakes the Raiders defense can make. So yeah, it all Raiders are working on very slim margins this year. They would have to be excellent to oh nice steal. They'd have double steal. They would have to play excellent football just to even go like eight and eight, <laughs> you know. So, but if the offense can't stay on the field, that means more of the Raiders' defense, which means more potential mistakes, and then games can get away from them. Now, Raiders are still a few years away, and they still have to deal with Mahomes in the <laughs> in the division too. And as Sean Jaspi is pointing out, yes, the Raiders will also have to contend with the wonderful Justin Herbert and the Chargers as well. The, <laughs> the court has duly noted Sean Jaspi's comments. Thank you. Yes, he's a good quarterback. He's excellent. Too bad he's going to waste away in San Diego. Or San Diego. <laughs> waste away here in Los Angeles forever. Or maybe they'll trade him like Drew Brees. Hey, you didn't trade Drew Brees. <laughs> Force him out? No, we just didn't re-sign him because of his, uh, his shoulder injury. Mm. And then the Dolphins declined to sign him also. That's true, right. That's actually, that, that's actually a wrinkle in the story that people medical, forget about. Their medical expert said that there's no way that this guy that, 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 that uh, everyone kind of passed on Drew Brees. You can tell Sean has had this conversation a lot. He had that Miami info ready to go. He had it ready to fire off as a defense. He's had this conversation a lot. When everyone goes, lols, Chargers, he's like, well, no, Miami passed on him too. No, no, okay, no, 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 it's not. But I'm just saying that was, like, you came, you fired back with that real quick. Listen, I've had that talk for a long time. <laughs> it's just, so it's just like, I feel like this has just been a, been a bar conversation with Sean and his friends for a long time. Yes, I, I've had, to, I've had, to had to defend the Chargers. Oh, there's a nice little insurance run there. Malibu 702, I stand with Sean, he says. There you go. They're, they're out there. Those Charger fans are out there. Dozens, apparently, dozens of them around here. Making waves, making waves. All right, there's Brandon Aya Green. Drop, 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 drop. It did. Nice. It's another run scores. I feel like there's been some, been some sloppy, uh, some some sloppy defense from the Padres. I think, which I'll, I mean, I'm I'll take it. The green eye goes to Oliver Soria and the Niners, by the way. And the silver Chase Claypool goes to Michael Gluchy, Steel Curtain, and the Steelers. Yes, Jonathan. If you look at our schedule, that's pinned on the uh, that's pinned on your chat. We are doing late night with Sean. There's Thurman Thomas Genesis Buffalo. Daniel Barnes with the Bills. That's three Genesis in the in these three boxes so far, which I don't think is common. Sean did four boxes last night. He said he didn't even hit one, so I guess they were hiding in here. Yeah, two autos, no, no. Two autos, no Genesis. Yeah. Is, is, is. All right, so it looks like we're getting a little lucky here. I'll take it. I'll take it.
NFL debut green, Jordan Love. Jared Goff, silver. All those rookies will ship, folks, obviously. I'm just pulling uh, the rookie parallels. And rookie scripts, Jalen Ragor. Nice. Fly, Eagles, fly, Daniel Barnes. We, yeah, Jonathan, we're we're all we're all related. Me, Nick, Sean Jaspi, Jason Jaspi, Nick Jaspi, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy, Ted Jaspi. Can't you see the? Can't you see the relationship? Teddy's all of our uncles. <laughs> DeAndre Swift. The rest of it's straight blood. We got uh, that's uh, DeAndre Swift rookie green for Nick Stober and the Lions. You'll get that one too. Tyler Boyd Silver. Mari Cooper. Howie Long and Brian Edwards. Tell tell who you're expecting another Red Sox All Star one of one booklet this year. Sean Jaspi. Yeah, he'll be going on after this break. Which will, which I think I'll be done another 15, 20 minutes or so. Yeah, these, these, this is a lot of packs. <laughs> it just sneaks up on you. You're like, oh yeah, that's the four boxes. It doesn't sound that bad. But then you got to open packs to get to packs and open packs again. No, I wish there was a way to send these back to the manufacturers and get some sort of recycling credit. All right, LaMichael P. Ryan rookie, Brian Edwards rookie. We got a NFL debut Jalen Ragor, Devin Duvernay. And all of these pink camels will ship, of course. Antonio, Gandy, Golden, DeAndre Swift. We want to set aside Tom Brady. Some of the highlight names. Henry Ruggs III. All these will be top-loaded and sent out by our team. All right, final box coming up, folks. Where am I at? 28 minutes? All right, good. Let's just take another 10, 15 minutes or so. And then we'll start I'll start cleaning a little, up a little bit here. And then Sean will tag in after this break, ladies and gentlemen. And he's already got a couple breaks lined up, too. Jonathan Kent, were you you hit a Burrow Genesis in a retail value pack and a Genesis Swift from a blaster? Did you find these in the wild? Did you get it from us? Right, Sam? One of those actually you actually found in the wild. That's amazing. These retail packs like, are almost impossible to find at like, any Target or Walmart or, or wherever local retailer sells them. That's pretty amazing. I, someone told it, Rex maybe? Someone said that there were, there were Targets and or Walmarts who were actually selling them behind the counter now. Like, and they would just limit how many you could buy. Bruce Argreo still still chirping at Machado? He kind of laughed, though. Targets in your area do that, says Ryan Potter. Yeah, that's, that's what I've heard. I think mostly because the distributors of these are like a third party that stocks stuff like this, that they've been bypassing Target themselves <laughs> and selling them directly to, to people. There have been some, some stuff like that. So I think... I think eventually they've had to they've had to crack down.
which is crazy. But hey, it's this is how crazy the hobby's gotten, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what from a from a business perspective, what would I want it? Yeah, I guess I would still want I was like maybe just just lead people to us, hobby shops. But I think I think I do want regular people just to stumble across these packs and stuff like that. Because maybe that think maybe that that'll that's the gateway. The retail packs are the gateway to hobby packs, you know what I mean? So Yeah, that's the kindling, exactly. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. And and so, so yeah, I, I, I do like that Targets and Walmarts are regulating a little bit. Wow, Jonathan, you, you found 12 mega boxes, 20 blaster, and a full box of value packs on two different occasions? Jeez. I'll leave some for others. Yeah, it must be some sort of wizard. Wow, someone hit a target 40 minutes south of, where, where do you live, Ryan Potter, or what, you don't have to tell us exactly what region are you in, or city. Someone at a target 40 minutes south of him, got it, uh, hit a target that didn't have limits, and he got 40 blasters and one and a half boxes of cellos, wow. That's crazy, oh, 40 minutes south of Madison, Wisconsin, so. That's the spot. We've got a lot of Midwesterners and people in Wisconsin listening, so if you're in that area, just go 40 minutes south of there and there's a target that apparently doesn't have limits. All right, Brandon Ayak Silver for the Niners. That's for Oliver. Lynn Bowden Jr. Green for the Raiders. Jerry Rice, Saddleship. That's an insert. One target near you is number seven in the country for card sales. I didn't know they track. They even track that. Who tracks that? Ooh, another Genesis. Anthony McFarlane Jr. Rookie Genesis for Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. Ooh. Wow. I just randomly grabbed box. I, I just got lucky. That's crazy. I, mean, I guess it, it could have easily gone the other way, Sean. I, I could have been the jester today. The joker today. Well, today's a new day. Today's a new day, Sean. You're 0 for 0 today. Are we gonna find a Joe, Joey B for for the Bengals winner, Oliver? Maybe, possibly. There's a green Josh Kelly for the Bolts. That's uh, Sean with the Chargers. Might get some extra work because of Austin Eckler. Getting near the end here. E looks like looks like no, but there we still have the pink camos. Still have the pink camos. Blaster's underrated in your opinion, says Jonathan Ken. Yeah, well, I don't know if they're underrated, but we couldn't keep them in stock. I think we did, when we got a, we got four or five cases one day, two weeks ago, and that sold out that very day. And then we got another four or five cases yesterday, and all four of those 20 box cases sold out before my shift was even done. So, I, 
I think they're they're rated just just perfectly. I think on for us anyway. All right, so last chance for everybody. Well, all those pink camos will ship, but let's see if we can find some of the key rookies. So Herbert, Tua, Joey B. Clyde, well, there's Tua. Clyde Edwards, Hilaire, Hilaire maybe, Jalen Ragor. There's an NFL debut pink camo Tua for Sean Maddock and the Dolphins. There's Jalen Ragor for the Eagles. That'll be for Daniel Barnes. There's Javon Kinlaw. There's Jonathan Taylor, NFL debut. There's Jake from State Farm. There's a base Tua right there. Nice. Sean Maddock and the Dolphins. Got the Dolphins straight up. Michael G., what's up? Yeah, Carlos, we definitely got to get some of those mosaic hanger boxes too. Absolutely. Anthony McFarland Jr., Taysom Hill, and Randy Moss at the very end. There you go. We've got another four box of these in the store that we can do now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Go check it out, folks. I'm refreshing the page. If you're watching live, they're down to eight teams. Eight. It's going to happen tonight. So finish that off, and Sean Jaspi will be able to take care of you there. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.